Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be taking a deep dive into the fascinating world of real world asset tokenization on the blockchain. I'm going to be sharing with you my top five projects in the real world asset tokenization space that I think have massive potential. Now, everything I share with you in this video is not financial advice. However, I'm really bullish on the real world asset tokenization narrative taking off in this coming crypto bull run. So without further ado, it's time to get into the video and let the gains be with you. Real world asset cryptocurrency projects are expected to see explosive growth in this bull market. It's one of the biggest narratives behind artificial intelligence and of course, cryptocurrency gaming. But right now, the total market cap of all real world asset projects is around $19.5 billion, okay? So this is still relatively small, especially compared to the overall cryptocurrency market cap, which is currently $1.37 trillion. Now, before we get into these individual projects, let's go over what real world asset tokenization actually is. And it's not that difficult to understand once you get the basic idea. So just to briefly elaborate on what real world asset tokenization is, let's go over this example from this Coindesk article. So let's say you wanna buy this piece of luxury art. Most of us can't afford to fork over $195 million for an expensive painting or 850 grand for another expensive painting. Many people wanna buy art either for pleasure or as an investment, but they're completely priced out because it's so expensive. But what if you could buy shares of an artwork, like you can buy fractions of a publicly traded company? This is the idea behind the tokenization of real world assets. So what this is, it's basically making fractionalized shares of exactly what it sounds like, assets that exist in the real world, like luxury art, real estate, luxury watches, for example, luxury cars, you're gonna be able to tokenize these, put them on the blockchain, and if you want to, you can split them up into shares, and people can invest in those individually. So let's read a little bit further before we get into our top five projects. So the core idea of real world asset tokenization is basically to create a virtual investment vehicle on the blockchain linked to tangible assets like real estate, precious metals, art, and collectibles. So instead of the deed of a house being a physical piece of paper, the ownership is put on chain. This could be traded between two parties directly or fractionalized and offered to many people to buy something like a real estate investment trust nowadays, right? It's just gonna go on the blockchain. And this is what real world asset tokenization is all about, okay? So like I said, it's not that difficult to comprehend. And this is going to be a massive narrative in the coming bull run. So without further ado, let's get into project number one. Project number one is gonna be the Rio network and the Rio token. Right now, Rio is trading for 39.7 cents, and the market cap right now is about $22 million. You can get the market cap by multiplying the circulating supply, which right now is around 55 and a half million tokens. You multiply that by the price, and you come up with the market cap of $22.5 million. Okay, so I first covered Rio on my channel a few weeks ago now, around a month ago, and at the time, the price was 12.3 cents. Okay, and the current price is 39 cents. So we're already up over 3x on Rio. Congratulations if you guys watched this video from a few weeks ago and you also thought Rio was bullish and you managed to get a great entry. But the thing is, I really don't think it's too late whatsoever. So in regards to what the Rio network is, they are focused on tokenizing real estate on the blockchain. So I made a full video about it. Like I said, I'll leave the card to that video right here. I recommend you go and watch it for a full deep dive on Rio, but it's very, very kind of simple to understand what Rio is doing. Like I said, they're trying to tokenize real estate on the blockchain. So they are eliminating the barriers to invest, trade and leverage exclusive real estate, private equity and other real world assets through decentralized finance. And the Rio token itself is used for everything on this network from paying for transaction fees, actually tokenizing assets themselves, as well as governance you need the Rio token for. So it's really important to understand the thesis behind this one. If fractionalizing real estate on the blockchain becomes a big thing, the Rio network is a main player in this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chart of Rio. Now on the daily, so the thing about Rio is it has great tokenomics. They did a fair launch. So it does have a lot of good things going for it. Now on this daily price chart, you can see we're trying to break out of the 2023 range. All right, so as long as we're still in this range, in my opinion, you're not too late. And right now the price is around 41 cents, had a nice bounce from around 33 cents. 
yesterday okay so bags are packed for me personally but at a 23 mil market cap i personally don't think it's too late for this one i'm expecting huge growth personally not financial advice but this is my main play in terms of the real world asset narrative taking off okay this is basically my main my main horse in the race really though that's me personally do your own research but yeah, I'm bullish on the Relio network. So that is coin number one for the video. Let's go ahead and move on to coin number two. Coin number two is gonna be another one that I was talking about months ago, and it's been performing quite nicely. This is Alliance Block Nexera and the NXRA token. Right now, the NXRA token is trading for 9.5 cents with a market cap of around $72.4 million. So yeah, I mean, NXRA, we've been bullish on this one. We were talking about it when it was completely dead in the bear market. The price at that time was underneath six cents. For a period of time after this video, the price went underneath four cents. And now if we take a look at the current price chart, again, this is another one that is trying to break out above its yearly highs and kind of start making some headway here. And like I said, we were talking about Rio underneath six cents. Okay, for a period of time it did go beneath four so yeah we're looking for explosive growth on nxra but what actually is this project so alliance block has been around for quite some time they were around in the last bull run but they did have an exploit or a hack where one of their partners essentially ran away with all their money but the team really handled this very very well right which gave me confidence that it was going to make a huge comeback which is why i was talking about it months ago and essentially they made things right and they launched a new token the nxra token the old token is no longer basically in existence so nxra for alliance block is what you need to be focusing on so alliance block empowers businesses to tokenize assets and compliantly issue manage and trade in an inclusive financial ecosystem so when it comes to the partnerships and the regulatory work that the alliance block team has done I'm not sure any other project does actually match it, okay? It's extremely compliant with regulations. They have massive partnerships. And yeah, I think this one's gonna see explosive growth with the real world asset tokenization narrative coming into play. What Alliance Block is really trying to do is just bridge the worlds of traditional finance and decentralized finance, AKA crypto, blockchain, Web3, whatever synonym you wanna to use to describe decentralized finance, they all work. Nonetheless, Alliance Block is bridging the two together, and they also have their own kind of exchange, decentralized exchange, where you can buy and sell these assets on too. Okay, so huge project here, some of the biggest partnerships in the space. I'll leave the card to my full Alliance Block video so you can get the full overview. Right now, I just wanna kinda of cover these briefly because I have to cover five projects in the video. So I can't talk about every single aspect, but yes, I am personally bullish on NXRA to continue to perform here. You know, we were talking about this at a 50 mil market cap, and I think that realistically, this one could hit a market cap of $2 billion to $5 billion, okay? So a potential 100X from the entry we shared and let's say it does go to that valuation, that would be around a 50X from the, the current price, okay? So not financial advice, but yeah. For real world asset tokenization, NXRA is one you can't overlook. So this is coin number two for the video. Now for coin number three, we're gonna go with the market leader, all right? If you have a small portfolio, I wouldn't go after a, a large cap cryptocurrency, but coin number three is gonna be Chainlink. All right, if you have a smaller portfolio, you wanna be focusing on the low cap projects, not financial advice, because I think there's more growth to be had. You know, we're talking multiples of 25X, 50X, maybe even 100X for the low cap projects, such as Rio. But anyway, coin number three for the video is going to be Chainlink, okay? Chainlink is the leader when it comes to real world asset tokenization. They have CCIP. Chainlink is known for being the number one decentralized Oracle network in crypto, but it is also much needed for real world asset tokenization. So Link right now is trading for $14.64 with a market cap of $8.1 billion. And we can take a look at this article from the Chainlink blog talking about real world asset opportunities. This blog was actually posted earlier in the year in 2023, but the information is still largely relevant around six months later. So we can see here, according to a 2022 CLENT survey, 91% of institutional investors have signaled their interest in investing in tokenized assets. Below are a few examples of how institutions are actively engaging the tokenization of real world assets on public blockchains. So SWIFT has collaborated with Chainlink more than a dozen of the largest financial institutions and market infrastructure providers on how firms can leverage their existing SWIFT infrastructure to efficiently instruct the transfer of tokenized value over a range of public and private blockchain networks using Chainlink's CCIP. 
Okay, some of their participants included a lot of banks in Australia, BNY Mellon, Citibank. A lot of big banks are looking into this and they are all using Chainlink's services, okay? So the collaboration showcased how Chainlink CCIP could be used as an abstraction layer to enable financial institutions to connect their backend infrastructure to any public or private blockchain, as well as instruct the transfer of tokenized real world assets between different blockchains efficiently and securely. So when it comes to real world asset tokenization, Chainlink is number one, but it's the highest market cap okay i do think personally Chainlink is going to get an etf in the u.s a spot etf we've already seen bitcoin and ethereum etf applications by blackrock Chainlink is the next one okay so maybe Chainlink gets their own if they don't get their own etf but i think they will there will be a large cap etf basket and link will be included in that okay so we're gonna see so much money flow into Chainlink. I think that a 10x to a 20x is possible, even from the current market cap at $8.1 billion. They're gonna get an ETF whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not. Obviously, this is my opinion, not financial advice, but Link is the number one when it comes to real world asset tokenization. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Link chart here. I mean, really not a lot to discuss. It was in a, let's go to a one month chart. So Link, very, very simple. It spent two years. This is a monthly chart. Each one of these candles is one month. Link spent two years in a bear market accumulation zone. And then two months ago, start of October, it broke out of that. And it is up. The price is up around 3x from that breakout because it spent a lot of time at around $5, traded up to 15. So this has already been a crazy good performer in terms of high cap currencies, cryptocurrencies. But Chainlink's all time high is at $53. I, I do expect this to get smashed through. Okay, so this is a safer bet. This is if you are less risk averse and you don't want to take as much risk in the lower cap projects. But Chainlink, when it comes to real world asset tokenization, it's number one. And there really is kind of no debate. Okay, so that's coin number three for the video. Coin number four is going to be another really small market cap project. And that is the prop chain. Ticker symbol is prop C. Right now, Prop C is trading for $1.78. With the market cap, it's underneath $10 million. Okay, it's a $9.2 million market cap. So this is a very, very small cap project. In terms of the supply, only around 5.2% of the total supply is in circulation. That's 5.2 million out of a max supply of 100 million in circulation. But this is a new project. We can take a look at the weekly chart here. And this thing started trading in May of 2023. And looking at this weekly chart, this is a brand new coin. You know how I like the new coins. And nothing has really happened just yet. It's not even up 2x from the lows in September. All right, it's trading at $1.80. The lows in September were at $1.12. And the market cap right now is below 10 mil. And with the way that real world asset tokenization with the with the steam and kind of energy that is building up with this narrative, this one does have explosive growth. So much like Rio, they are focusing on tokenizing real estate assets on the blockchain. All right, so PropChain is a blockchain ecosystem for real world asset and prop tech solutions. This is where real estate meets blockchain, unlocking the possibilities for home ownership and investment solutions to craft lasting legacies now just to read a little bit further so they are bridging the gap between real estate and technology so in an age where the line between the tangible and digital realms blurs prop chain emerges as the beacon of innovation they understand the intrinsic value of real world assets and recognize the transformative prowess of modern prop tech solutions prop chain was conceived to bridge this very gap by integrating blockchain's trust transparency and efficiency they are not only enhancing the management and transaction of real world assets but also unlocking new avenues of accessibility security and growth with prop chain experience the future where every real estate benefits from the zenith of technological evolution so very similar to rio with this one and yeah real estate tokenization on the blockchain is going to be so 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 big real estate is such an outdated industry now we have these new crypto projects just kind of revolutionizing everything. This is disruptive technology, and we are so early to it right now. And looking at this chart, really not a lot to say on the weekly chart. I like the way that it looks right now in terms of this weekly range it's trading in between $2.10 and $1.50. Comes back to the range lows at around $1.50 or lower. That's going to be an entry opportunity, obviously you know, not financial advice, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, range lows, 150 and below, that's that's really kind of prime entry at the current moment in time. I'm not sure how much longer these things do stay this low. And when it breaks this range high at $2.10, 
I'm expecting it to go ahead and break out into new highs here. Really kind of bullish on prop chain here. This is behind Rio in my opinion, right? Rio is kind of the leader right now, but prop chain should not be overlooked. I think they're both gonna do really well. Okay, so that's coin number four. Let's go ahead and move on to coin number five. Coin number five is focusing on the real world asset tokenization of kind of luxury goods. And this is the LEOX token and it's called Galileo Protocol. Anyways, right now LEOX is trading for 40.8 cents and it does actually have a market cap here of 20.6 million dollars right this is another newer coin this is the weekly price chart this is just weekly accumulation it's kind of starting to break out above the accumulation range highs right now as we can see that's really at around 45 to 50 cents, the accumulation range highs. Right now it's at 40 cents, so it's still in the accumulation zone. Obviously not at the bottom of the zone, but yeah, I mean, such a low market cap. But what is the Galileo protocol? So the Galileo protocol is focusing on luxury ownership and tokenizing luxury assets on the blockchain, right? From jewelry, cars, watches, stuff like that, they're tokenizing it and putting it on the blockchain. So innovative asset solutions, tokenizing luxury, ensuring authenticity, and revolutionizing asset management through blockchain and artificial intelligence. So one of the main things they are doing is ensuring that no counterfeit assets are traded anymore. We can take a look here at some of their industry use cases. So they're focusing on luxury watch ownership, as well as automotive tokenization with luxury cars, and then as well as jewelry as well, securing authenticity and security. Okay, so I really recommend you do your own kind of deep dive into Galileo protocol. Like I said earlier, the purpose of this video is just to shed light on these projects. You need to do your own research if you're gonna invest into any of these. I've looked into all these extensively, but you know, this is a short YouTube video on where I'm just kind of describing the basics of each project. So I really recommend you do your own deep dive but yeah, just like Rio and PropChain are focusing on real estate, this is more focusing on luxury goods like watches, cars, jewelry, things like that, tokenizing them on the blockchain. You're going to be able to buy fractionalized shares, and also you'll be able to tell if it's a counterfeit good or, good or not. Okay, so that is definitely something really interesting. And like I said, just looking at this chart, market cap extremely low. It's still in the bear market accumulation range. I think this one does have some explosive potential to be a big multiplier. So do your own research, but yeah, still a great entry from the current price. Anyways, these are my top five real world asset tokenization cryptocurrency projects. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely follow me on Twitter at C Cell Crypto. I'm posting a lot on X or Twitter nowadays. So give me a follow. I appreciate it. So in this video, I went over my top five real world asset tokenization cryptocurrency projects. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below, as well as if you're brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And I would love to hear what you think about the real world asset narrative. What do you think about my personal kind of top five picks here? Let me know what you think and let me know what you hold in the comment section down below. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I'll see you in the next video.